Hey, this is Karen, and I have another YouTube video for you just about anxiety, and today the use of cannabis to treat anxiety, as well as what we need to consider to actually heal anxiety. Now, a lot of people are turning to cannabis because it's a medicine and because it's a plant, but there's a lot of different forms of cannabis. There's the original, what we used to call back in the day when I began smoking in 1975 in San Jose, California, the flower, we called it herb or ganja. We rolled it up in little papers, usually zigzag papers, or put it in a bong. We smoked it and it was really nice, pure flower, you know, pure plant. Today there's a lot of hybridizations and different more powerful strains of THC. And now parents are turning for their teenagers and their young adults to cannabis to help them with anxiety. It's a positive thing for sure. THC gives you the euphoric effect and it has the effect of feeling as if you slow down things a little bit. So that's really helpful when it comes to anxiety. However, to heal anxiety, we're not gonna use the word cure, but to heal it is to find out why is it happening in the first place. That's what I address in my course, the anxiety solution. Why, because I'm a 56 year old elder and I've sm I did smoke cannabis since 1975. I rarely do as much today, comparatively. But I found the basis for why I had rapid speech, racing heart, impulsiveness, memory issues, and brain fog. For a lot of people, they start having nervousness tics or little twitches and they didn't know what to do. So they went to the doctor and they found different kinds of drugs called medications, Prozac, antidepressants, Nervines. Even in the herbal world, being a certified herbalist, we have Nervines like valerian root and others that actually cause your system to calm down. Being a massage therapist, I was acutely aware for 14 years of all the clients that came in and said, I don't know what to do my teenager is in school, school's going to start again, and anxiety is off the charts. I don't know what to do about it. I put together my course specifically because a lot of these parents, and I know because I have a 22-year-old son this month myself, where the parents were telling me, I have to allow them to smoke, to dab, to have their edibles, or whatever it was with cannabis, because something had to take the edge off of this anxiety. And in fact, where I live in Duluth, Minnesota, I had no less than a dozen of my clients have their children go to a mental health facility called Miller Dwan Hospital. Now, Miller Dwan is where your child gets assessed, taken out of society for a little bit, and sometimes, or most of the time, evaluated. 99% of the time they're going to go home with some sort of a medication so that they can keep the anxiety at bay. The depression, the anxiety, and eventually what will end up being some kind of a further diagnosis down the road like bipolar or schizophrenia and even all the way up into to psychosis. In fact, if anxiety is left untreated <clears throat> for far too long, it will go from social anxiety to generalized anxiety all the way into agoraphobia. You might have noticed that everyone around you is looking at their cell phone, they're looking at a computer screen, and they're becoming a lot more of what I call FaceTime avoidant. We don't pick up the phone and talk with people or meet face to face and enjoy each other as much at all as we used to. Now it's a Snapchat, a text, we're just riddled with anxiety all the time. And there's a reason. It has to do with our diet. It's a mineral based, it's amino acid based. So those are the brain foods I discuss in the course. And there's also some lifestyle habits. Now the course is about an hour and a half total. You can use it at any time you want. So say you want to do 10 minutes tonight, 30 minutes tomorrow and another 30 minutes the next day and, and you want to finish it on Thursday, today's Monday, you'd be able to finish the course in really small increments or you can sit down for an hour and a half and do the whole course, pause it on one of the keynote slides and be able to go back and write down what it is that you want to go get at this, your local natural food store. 
I'm going to give you Dr. Proven, and I thank the doctor for the two, in, two pieces of the course that he gave me in the course, proven remedies that even if you don't do everything in the course, and I give you the dietary, the lifestyle, like I said, the brain food, you're going to find immediate results. I put this course at the low price of $39 because I know that people are suffering. I suffered. It was in 1999 that I went to the hospital thinking I was having a heart attack and it was a panic attack. And it hurts, it's embarrassing, it takes you out of your job or your school, it hurts with you being a parent and your children seeing it, and we have no shortage of anxiety. In fact, it's what's behind ADD, ADHD, most of these other diagnoses that people have like ODD our parents that were full of anxiety and the children's electrical system because they're not getting electric foods they're not getting the electricity to the brain with the minerals they're not getting the brain food is starting to run really short and the attitudes get really really snotty along with the body getting snotty the behavior gets really snotty and defiant and oppositional instead of us continuing to drug our people I'm a mother myself. I'm an elder at 56 years old, and I've been gathering medicine for 33 years. I know anxiety inside and out. I've experienced it. I've done therapeutic foster care, and I've worked with clients for 14 years in Minnesota after leaving my home of California. I had nurses with children. I had teachers with children. I had loads of parents with teenagers and grandparents with teenagers that all came to tell me that the doctor was helping them with a sleeping pill. Now, if the doctor tells you it's a sleeping pill, whether it's clonopin or uh, terazidol or any of those other pills with all those different names, and I don't know all of the names for them anymore, a sleeping pill is still a drug that carries a lot of heinous side effects to it. And I'm here to tell you that it's the actual gateway for your young person to start using other drugs. And I've helped extensive amounts of people with fentanyl, heroin, opiates, Xanax, benzos, and everything else. You might not recognize all those names, but one of those names might have been really something you did recognize. Because almost everyone around us is suffering from something to do with one of these drugs as they try so hard to self-medicate these pains, this heart fluttering and racing, racing thoughts. And they don't know because they haven't developed daily habits that will really take care of them and sustain them. My course, The Anxiety Solution, can be found on my website at naturallywithkaren.com. It's something I put together just for you. I know the pain of anxiety. I've had it myself. I've worked it through with kids and I've worked it through with my son as well. And it comes back up again if you don't follow what you need to do. I really hope you that it will be a good benefit to you and that I can help you in your using it. Thank you.